Hello, everybody. How are you? So, um, today I'm going to do a swipe for an idea that I have. It's something that I'm going to try out. Um, I used to do, and I still do sometimes, um, paintings, or not paintings, uh, rubber stamping with landscape um, stamps and I want to give this a try to see what um, type of background I can come up with on this tile and so I kind of want to get an Aurora Borealis look so that that is the background for the sky and then I'm going to see how well this rubber stamping does over it with a permanent ink. So uh, right now I'm just trying to create the background of something that looks Aurora Borealis-like. So I'm going to, and then when, um, well, when it dries, I'll show you how the stamping goes so this will kind of be a two-part video that I'm going to chop up and piece together and uh, you'll be able to see how it goes it's a little experiment of mixing two art forms so I'm going to start with just some um, gray pillow that is has been um, obtained from my scraping of my things that I do. Save it in a jar and we go from there. So I'm not really sure what color combination, but I'm just, I'm just trying to think of like what would look like a dark sky. So I'm going to start down here and I'm going to put some of the Diox purple in here. And I want to use quite a bit so that it makes it all the way to the top. So that's Diax Purple. Um, this one is this little piggy lagoon. Because I did another um, swipe on a tile that had some teals in it and it was really pretty. So I'm just going to kind of... Throw it all over here. This one's going to kind of be swirly. Um, next, I'm going to use this little piggy, or is it this little piggy? Yeah, this little piggy sapphire. It's a beautiful deep blue. I think that will be pretty in there. And then last, I don't know how I get paint on me or where it comes from, but it just appears. <laughs> this one is um, Primary Elements Ginger Flower. So this, I'm not going to use too much. I just want a little bit to get some pink in that background. And I think that's going to be a pretty combination but we'll see so now how we do it you've seen me do it before uh, I take a little piece of cardboard or whatever um, I'm going to take my cell activator and I'm going to use black because I want this to be dark so I'm going to pour some of that I'm stirring it up first though I didn't do that before I got started. So I'm going to pour some on this plate so that I can drag my card through it. Set that to the side. And I just dip it in the cell activator. Get a good amount on there. And go... Like so, 
get some more. Go like so. A little more over there. Now my card is getting kind of saturated. So I just take my scissors and trim it off. And then I want to get this center part. So I'm going to go this, this thin route here. Get a little bit more right over here. And I'm going to get some over here. All right, I'm happy with that. So that's, that's cool. Now I'm going to tilt. I'm going to... Um, Tilt and spin a little bit. I think that's going to be a pretty uh, combination. So I want some of that to go up further, some of that color. I do want to leave some of that gray that's peeking through because that kind of gives it the... Um, like a lighter sky look in there. So right, I'm just making this for the background. So I'm gonna scoop some of that up, put it in my jar, give this a spin. get it out over the edges and that scrape paint is a little bit thicker than my usual pillow paint so it kind of re requires some more spinning I could thin it out if I wanted to just gonna touch up these edges here Okay, we need some over this way over here because that whole edge is bare. So let's give it a spin. And like I said, I'll show you. Um, actually, I can kind of show you what I'm thinking about here. Just give me one second and I will show you some of the cards, uh, some of the things I did on cardstock and that I'm hoping to use on this painting, this tile. So let me grab that while this is spinning. Uh. All right, so these are rubber stamps that do this. Like this was one that I made. This is not painting at all. This was uh, rubber stamps and the trees look so real. And I, I uh, used a sponge applicator and ink to create the background of that. But, and here's kind of another one that I did. So that's what I'm shooting for. But these stamps are just awesome. Like this is a rocky um, lake. There's a loon on the in, uh, inside there. Um, let me show you something else. that so the rubber stamps are really really detailed so i'm interested to see how something like this is going to stamp onto something like this and i'm thinking 
that I'll only do it, like I might only do the cabin over here. So um, we're going to see what happens. I probably should have used lighter colors um, because you could see how the, the stamp really shows up on a lighter color. So we'll see how it goes. You never know. I just want to know if the rubber stamp is going to work. It's permanent ink and um, that you stamp with, so it should stay. And then when I seal the tile with the, um, the high temperature enamel spray, that should seal it up and keep it good because um, I used to use a spray on varnish for those cards as well and it sealed them and kept them um you know you could wipe them off get them wet and they wouldn't wouldn't run so that's um number one tile number one and then the other thing for i'm going to do today because i usually do two tiles when doing just tiles so it makes the video a little bit more interesting is I'm going to do a balloon um, we went camping this um, week and in the cupboard I found an old hair dryer I had that I forgot it was in the trailer so it has a cool setting which the dryer that I usually use does not so I want to test out and see how that hair dryer works. So you can experiment with me. We'll just take a little look, see, and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, we'll have created a nice coaster. I'm really working on my coasters because I'm signed up for two different uh, vendor events this summer well actually summer and fall and so everybody says the coasters sell so much better so i want to get like a stock going i have like 60 or 70 of them i think so <laughs> but it's a very well attended event so i want to make sure i have enough don't want to run out so i'm going to use the same colors same color scheme, just a different uh, method. I'm going to do a bloom. What is that thing? Oh, wait, we got a big goober. There, I got rid of it. So we got the Diox purple. The Lagoon. I love that purple and lagoon next to each other. The sapphire. And I think I'm going to put a little bit extra of the ginger flower in to really brighten this up. Okay, there we go. I'm going to tilt it over to the center more. A little off kilter there. Good amount of cell activator in there. Oh, I didn't plug my hair dryer in first. Okay, let me hurry up. Here we go. I'm gonna put it on the cool side. Wow, this is interesting. So it slows down in speed when you're using the cool setting. Wow, that's not even moving it. 
the heck? All right, then it's gonna work. We're going with four weeks. All right, that's a no. That is a big no. <laughs> Forget that idea. Let's go back to our little leaf blower. See if I can get this cell activator moving. All right, this is a train rack. It's sunk. We're going to have to scrape this and start over again. The cell activator sunk right down because I took too long and it's not going anywhere. So let's scrape that off, start it over. Now I'll give you another little tip. Do not paint over a tile a second time once it's dried the paint from the first coat just lifts right off so you got to get that paint off of there somehow if you want to go over it i learned that the hard way i didn't like the one tile that i did after it dried and i thought oh, i'll just paint over it just like a canvas because that works it didn't work the paint actually made all these ripples. It was crazy. All right. There we go. Starting over without that hair dryer. Should have tested it out first. Just on my hand before I started. But I didn't realize that the cool setting would reduce the fan speed that was not good so that hair dryer can go back in the camper it's always worth a try might as well experiment But since this tile is still wet, I can go right over it again with no problem. So maybe we'll try blowing this one with the walls. I don't have my hairpin back, so this could be risky. Okay, here we go. did it go so well little blower but this is not my night to do blooms I don't think definitely not Sometimes they work for you, sometimes they don't. So I'll tell you what I did. 
I was in search of a something wider than the turkey baster at the tip. So I was going to get another turkey baster and cut it down so that the hole was wider, but I couldn't find the turkey baster. So at Walmart, I found straws. There were like four of those wider straws for $7.99. This I got, this is like a drink thing and it came with a straw in it for $2.98. So I got one straw for $2.98. And I just got paint on me. So anyway, this is a pretty, pretty big hole to it. And, you know, I wanted to get something that wasn't so narrow and directed so tightly. You know, something that would blow out further. So always look around at the store. You might find something cheaper in a different form, but that still has what you need. So I'm going to spin this. Bring it over this way, spin it. Close up some of my paints while it's doing its thing. But yeah, I'm happy because I couldn't find a turkey baster anywhere in the middle of summer. <laughs> Not that I would expect to, but I didn't. So they got me what I wanted. Okay. Oh, this turned out pretty. I like this. Give it one more spin. I really, really, really have to clean out my spinning box here this weekend. It has so much paint in it where I wipe off. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So I'm gonna lift it up, show you the colors. Let me turn the flash on. There we go. Pretty. That very glimmery. And I love the colors. Love the cells. My little mini leaf blower does the best for me all the time. Unless I'm having a really good day where blowing by the lungs works really well for me, then I do like that better. But at any rate, so there we have it. So I will be um, adding on at the end of this. We're going to end here. I'm going to shut it off. And then I'm going to tack on to the end of the video when I rubber stamp that other tile so you can see how that worked and um, I will see you later bye bye okay everybody we're back so epic fail with my idea with the rubber stamps I wanted to rubber stamp on here and as you can see they dried too dark these, you wouldn't have seen the black stamp on here at all. So what I did is I did try a lighter tile, tile that I had, and I tried to do the rubber stamp on it with the, the stays on, um, ink and it just did not take, it did not take at all. You could barely see the image on it and, um, uh, even on the lighter tile and so um, that is not a technique that is going to work with this. Um, I'm really bummed because I thought I had a great idea. And I didn't. It didn't work. And the reason that it didn't work is because you have texture 
um, in here somewhat. Now I did um, stamp it on a tile that was sealed and um, so there wasn't as much texture on a, a raw tile that is unsealed and it just it just did not take. So I wanted to hop on here at the end and let you know that nope that did not work. The best laid plans um, didn't come to fruition but I still have two pretty tiles. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.